Garrett. Welcome to Camp's Corner. Today, we're going to talk Brymar dump trailer. So, this is my father's dump trailer. Um, he purchased it in November of 2014. It's a 612 LP. We'll start here at the battery box. That's the original battery from 2014. It gets used, I'd say, every other week. So it's got the reservoir, the pump, the wired remote. Still, look, it's still got the wrap on it. Not soon after he got the trailer, he decided to put these big high sides on it. These are two by fours, and they've been on there since the trailer was new. And then they had this gate made that's used to haul above trash. On the inside, we can see he's got his marks out for how many yards of trash he would haul. A whole lot in this trailer. Uh, it has the tarp tarp kit on it that came with it. I got my little red marks for firewood. That's two cords stacked up to the red marks. Over the years, I've worked with uh, various different types of dump trailers, and this is the favorite tailgate that I've seen so far. It's a, it's a spreader gate and it's barn door, so it's a combination gate, but it's got one pin that holds the barn door shut, and then just do that. Watch how simple. Boom. It also comes with ramps for loading. They just simply go like that. I don't think we've ever loaded anything with them. I've used them for rolling firewood rounds up before we had a tractor, but that's about it. But it's good to have the option. It's oh. a little rusty. I think that pretty much covers all the features it has. Um, I'm making this video because I had to get it out and open everything up and grease it because it's getting ready to get used tomorrow. Yeah, some of this wood needs to be replaced. I actually want to make lower sides so we can go over the side with it with a loader tractor because he doesn't use it for a dumpster anymore. One of the things that I don't like about this is it's uh, powder coated rather than painted. And you can see it's starting to show its age. I'm going to have to nip this before it gets too bad. Yeah. Sandblasted, whichever. For the frame, for, for the frame rust in a million pieces. But the overall quality is great. I mean, there's there's grease fittings everywhere on this thing. They're here on the door hinge. Yeah, they're there on the door hinge. They are at the bottom on the pivot pin. There's one on each end of the ram. Grease fittings and the bearings on the axle. There's a grease fitting up here on the jack. So I usually grease it a couple times a year. I mean, it doesn't get used that much anymore. So if it was used every day, it'd probably be a, a lot different story. Safety Sally, look, I got the bar in there. Either 
safe as we can be. And these, and that's probably good. It's a good thing I was doing this video. How long was that going until I noticed it? Always something. These are the original tires, too. They're starting to show their age here and there. While I've got this trailer up, I'll talk about that Ram. So, there's all different kinds. There's one that it's like on a big truck, they have them. The Ram will be up at the front here. And then I've seen the scissor list, and they all work pretty good. I mean, I'm not really the greatest fan of the way that ram is, but I've had five tons of stone in this trailer, and it's picked it up and dumped it, no problems. I mean, it grunted a little bit, but it has picked it up and dumped it. God for screen protectors. I was just filming away and turned around and I heard the phone hit the ground. Hmm. Imagine if it was just my screen sticking out. All right, now that I got the tripod set way down on the ground, finish up this greasing and call her a day. So, all in all, it is a good trailer. It's been a great trailer. We haven't had any, any issues with it at all. Um, just a couple little things that need to be fixed on it, but other than that, she's good to go. Really like that tailgate. Do a little walk around of it. Oh, the spare tire, we had had to buy that. That wasn't standard on it. So I got a few uh, more videos I got in mind that I'd like to make. Um, I have airbags to put on this truck my wife bought me for my birthday. So I have to get them installed. I might make a video of that. Another video that I plan to make is the install of this stove. It is the uh, Hampton HI 500 by Regency. Uh, so yeah, I'd like to make the video of this. It's a really nice stove. I think it's 78,000 BTU. We're replacing these held stairs that I have because I'm just not fighting with it anymore. So that's the long and the short of that. If you like these videos, subscribe, and there'll be plenty more coming. Thanks. Have a good one.